Of all the topics dealing with online instruction, I consider this to be one of the most important topics. I want to show you how to use a, a program called Handbrake to make videos that you're creating for your content, how to make them smaller. You're going to be making content on multiple devices, and then you're going to upload into our content management system. When you talk about uploading, that means sending the file across the internet. Many of the instructional files that we are going to make are going to be videos. And just by their nature, videos are gigantic files compared to other kinds of content. It's important that you understand that the length of your movie does not necessarily equal the video's file size. I could have a movie that has a, a play length of 4 minutes and 11 seconds and a file size of 751 megabytes. Those are two different properties. One is how long the video takes to play. The other one is how big the file size is. The thing is, I could have a video that has very similar quality that's the exact same play length, 4 minutes, 11 seconds, but it's only 31 megabytes. Now here's the difference. The bigger file is 25 times bigger. Now remember, the quality of the playback is very similar. So if a movie is 25 times bigger, it means it's going to take 25 times longer to upload. And most importantly, it's going to take 25 times longer to download. Now, a lot of our students have a very slow connection to the internet, a cell phone or a cell phone hotspot. So we need to be considering the fact that all of our content not only has to be uploaded by us, it has to be downloaded by the students. So we need to make this content as small as possible while maintaining the highest quality possible. I use my iPad to do a screen capture. The resulting file is right here and you can see it's 751 megabytes and the play length is 4 minutes 11 seconds. Using a program called Handbrake I can take that 751 megabyte file and at about 10 or 15 minutes of processing time crunch it down by 25 times to about a 30 megabyte file. Let me show you how to do that. We already have a video that shows you how to install Handbrake. If you don't have Handbrake already installed, watch that video. Once you have it installed, open it up. When I open Handbrake, it tells me, drop my file right here. So I'm going to drag my file, drop it right there. Here is where creating content on an iPad and using a program like Handbrake can uh, change things maybe in a way you don't want them to change. Let me explain what I mean. This tab right here that says Dimensions, it says my source is 1920 by 1440, but it wants to turn it into 1920 by 1080. This is the size of an iPad. This is the size of a typical laptop screen. What I'm going to do is tell it, don't use anamorphic. Don't keep the aspect ratio. Make it 1920 by 1440. I want the end, these numbers, to match these numbers up here. Now the last thing, and this is the most important thing, I go to the video tab. There's a scroller right here that lets me control the quality. It's going to do some magic and just make the file size on my hard drive smaller. It starts out at a value of 22. I'm going to slide it to the left down to about 30. This is going to take my 751 megabyte file and it's going to turn it into a file that's about 30 megabytes. Now notice it's saving this in my video folder on my hard drive. I'm making note of that because I need to go find this file when it's finished. At this point, I'm ready to make the video. I'm going to click Start Encode. Now it's 
doing some calculations right now to try to figure out how long this whole process is going to take. And it tells me right down here at the bottom, it's going to take six minutes, six and a half. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes up to seven. Uh, but I don't have to sit and watch this. In fact, uh, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. I'm going to come back. This will be finished and I'll continue with the next part of the video. Okay, we're finished. You can see down here it says Q finished. Now what I did is I went on my hard drive and I copied this file over to the same folder that I had my original file. So this is the one that's 751 megabytes, 4 minutes, 11 seconds. Now I have one that's 30.4 megabytes, also 4 minutes and 11 seconds. So here's what I did. I uploaded both of these videos to YouTube and uh, on this page I have a link to each one of the files. This one is the one that took 25 times as long to upload and then this one at the bottom the link is to the much smaller file. This is a, a short URL just go to bit.ly slash 751 versus 30. Watch those two videos you'll see a slight difference in the quality but it far exceeds the value in making something that's 25 times faster for your students to download.